I loved this goblin and for a quick sketch there's too much going on so I just wanted to um, pick a feature and I really liked well I should say an object I liked this nice organic shield so I started with a square on an angle or I should say more of a rectangle and then I just gauge my curves based on that how far does that tip go at the top to the left above this square and then I make sure that you have these nice pointy tips if you can and then um, I just really look at what angles um, I can get close or if you want to exaggerate them a little bit more and make it your own and then on the inside I'm going to mimic the, this thickness of the line um, that we have this metal edge that you have with the wood planks on the middle so you just want to make sure that metal edge is about the same thickness throughout um, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just kind of a fun creature a fun weapon and then I decided to go back through and ink it I'm using a couple different tips so I have a thinner a medium and a thin and then the outside and the inside of this metal edge um, that holds the wood in place we've got some cracks and grags and make it look all old and I'm just outlining where I have some highlights and lowlights and I didn't take the time to shade on this sketch but you could go back through and use some line work to shade or even bring in some pencil and then I'm just gonna go through each plank and make it look like individual pieces of wood like they did in the original sketch that I'm copying and um, you know this is always a fun exercise you have thicker and thinner lines that you um, have different angles that repeat kind of like an echo line to give the idea that there's a grain to the wood and once I'm done with that I want to make sure my ink is dry and I gently go through and rub it with my kneaded eraser and then I am done